the Atlantic hurricane season is not over yet. That's right. Bernie Reno spoke earlier with AccuWeather lead hurricane expert Alex De Silva to get some insight on what may be in store. It feels like every year we have some kind of hybrid storm or something around the Halloween time. And I think this year may be no different here as we're really going to have to watch the end of October into November, but still about 20 to 23 percent or so of the hurricane season left. So we really don't want to let our guard down, especially this year. It's been so active recently. I think we can see another storm or two, certainly for the rest of the season. Yeah, let, let's talk about this, because when you look and you start getting into October and especially late October, while September, you have to look everywhere for development, it starts coming a little closer to the United States by the end of October. Yeah, it certainly does. Caribbean, uh, Gulf of Mexico, and right off the southeast coast is where we look. And then where do these storms go? Typically, they move a little bit north and then usually out to sea. But we do have to watch the east coast. Sometimes you get a dip in the jet stream to combine with one of these storms moving north. That can pull the storm a little bit closer to the east coast. So we're going to have to watch things as we head over the next next couple of weeks here. Well, let's take a look at the Caribbean. That's one of the locations, of course, and certainly the Gulf of Mexico, although typically it is a lot farther south for development. But you start, you know, well, listen, water temperatures are always warm in the Caribbean, warm enough for development this time of the year, Alex. Yeah, usually we look for 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, you see that in the Gulf of Mexico right around that 80, but look at how warm it is in the Western Caribbean. Middle 80s still as we head towards the end of October, so plenty of fuel for something if something gets going in the Western Caribbean. Let's take a look at the pattern. Next week, so this is early next week, what caught my eye is this. In, in, uh, at around 500 millibars, let's say 5,000, uh, up, up, well above 5,000 feet, I should say, you have this upper high across Puerto Rico, and I think you're going to be seeing energy, Alex, coming out of South America. Yeah, something comes out of South America. It's kind of the time of the year when we really start to look for the gyre Gyres, as well yeah. across Central America. So I think something's going to try to form in the Central or Western Caribbean right around that Halloween time frame and into the beginning of November. So this is something we're really going to have to watch out for. Look at this. Almost no wind shear in that part of the basin. We have a lot of wind shear to the north, but there's going to be a pocket there in the Caribbean where there's very, very little wind shear, warm water temperatures. It's going to be a very conducive area for development. AccuWeather lead hurricane expert Alex De Silva. Alex, thanks for joining us here. We can take you to the Turks and Caicos here, and on October 14th, this was five days in advance of the National Hurricane Center and any other known source, AccuWeather exclusively issued a track and intensity forecast for a tropical rainstorm that ultimately became Tropical Storm and even Hurricane Oscar, north of the Greater Antilles on October 19th. Our goal is to provide you with the most advanced notice so you can make the best decisions for you and your family. That storm rapidly intensified, and our team of forecasters, 100-plus, uh, strong here at AccuWeather. We're on top of that. Uh, the Turks and Caicos here, 86 degrees right now. And uh, as we look at the satellite loop, our storm, uh, again, Oscar, now a tropical rainstorm, kind of a disembodied storm at this point. Uh, the center of circulation is kind of on the western fringe of the big plume of convection, and it's not really a healthy system that it once was as a trough is scooping this up. And it will send some wind and rain up into areas to the north. If you look closely, there's Bermuda there, and this is going to be moving in that general direction, bringing some heavy rain and some wind in that uh, direction. Overall, there is some heavy rain tied to this. Most of the rain is now pulling north of the Turks and Caicos, away from the Bahamas and away from uh, from Cuba. They got a lot of infrastructure problems there in eastern Cuba with the recent power failure, uh, even separate from uh, from this particular storm. So there are uh, problems here with electrical supply in eastern Cuba that will continue. Uh, but by the numbers, we've had 15 named storms so far. We average about 13 by now. So we're not too far from the average here. But what has been a little unusual, we've had a disproportionately high number of hurricanes this year, and especially U.S. landfalling hurricanes. We've had four major hurricanes.